Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moikens from Big Mount Studio. And this week, for the storyboard tips, I'm going to teach you some better ways or some alternative ways to work with controls that are underneath other controls. If you've ever worked with storyboards before, you know that this is a pain. This is another storyboard pain that we have to suffer with. So I want to show you some of the things that, that I do to help get around that. So my boss come, came to me and he told me, Mark, you did a horrible job on this prototype cell. You need to redo it. Well, okay, so it's underneath this, I don't know, this pop-up right here, my share pop-up. So I need to quickly get that out of the way because I need to be able to do some UI work on this on this cell in my table view, on this prototype cell. So what can I do? Well, I can move it back, but if it's complex, I can move it down and then just work on my cell and then move it back. But that seems kind of like a pain, you know, and I have to make sure that I get it back to the way it was. And right now I don't have any constraints on here. So I move it around and I'm like, oh, you know, how do I, you know, was it here? Was it here? Was it up here? Well, this is what I do. First, I find out where it should be. <laughs> and then and then I actually add constraints to it. So let's see. Let's give it a height and width. And then let's center it. Or yeah, let's just, yeah, let's let's use these two constraints to keep it in this position that I have it in right now. So, okay, we'll say uh, items of new constraints. Because then when I add the two constraints, I want it to reposition it so it matches the constraints I just set. And you see it moved it around. Okay, this... This is okay, but there's still, you know, as you can see, my prototype cell is big. And I'd like to be able to expose the whole thing. So what I do is I just simply take this and I drag it somewhere else. And you notice this is okay because there's always, you can always hit this button down here to update the frame and it snaps right back to where it was. So now I can just move it wherever I want, you know, like totally off the screen if I want to even. And now I have complete freedom to work on either my my whole page here or my whole scene my whole view controller or my prototype cell and now I can do whatever I want you know I'm like oh you know you just wanted a background color okay there we go done and then I just come back here click on this update the frame and everything's back to the way it was I can commit it check in my work and I'm done so this is a tip to how to work with things that are underneath other things give them a constraint move them out of the way and then do your work and then you can just update the frames. Now, here, you know, I show you how you can click this button to just reset one view, but say you had to move this out of the way and, you know, you had to move another view out of the way and another view out of the way. Well, you can also just come here too. You know, there's this warning that says, you know, there's some problems. If we hover over this or if we click it, it'll say frame for view will be different at runtime. Yeah, that's, that's this thing right here. So if I want to put everything back to the way it was, I can click on this, and this will have all the problems, you know, where there none of the frames match up. Well, I could just click this and update frames for everything. It just fix misplacement, and it moves everything back for me. Okay, so there's another tip on how to work with controls that are underneath other controls or underneath views or, you know, where you have a bunch of layers and you have to get to the bottom. You know, that's, that's one tip that you can do. To apply constraints to everything, move them out of the way, and then just update the frames and put everything back. All right, thanks. I hope this tip helped. And apply it this week so it's really yours, so you really get it and you remember it. Okay, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider sharing it with your other friends that are having storyboard pains so I can help them out. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Did I already say that? And then, <laughs> what's the last thing? Oh, yeah, subscribe because I'm going to be coming out with more videos like this every single Monday, giving you guys storyboard tips. Okay, thank you.